Hey guys, I want to make a quick video about why access layering in 2D games. This is a feature that we normally see in beat em up style games, typically in a game something like Golden Axe or Castle Crashers, where characters largely move around on the horizontal axis but are able to move up and down. And this gives us the visual setup of as this character moves close to the bottom of the screen, they're moving closer to us, and as they approach the middle of the screen, they're moving away from us. And of course, we expect something that's further away to be obscured by things that are closer to us. So this character, if they were to move closer to each other, this blue character should be in front of this green character. By default, Unity does not have this set up. And let me illustrate this right now. I have two characters, one in blue, one in red. And if I move one around, of course right now this seems like this blue character, which is closer to us, gets rendered on top. And the red one is further away from us and that gets rendered behind. But as this one moves oh, close to the middle of the screen, this is where it all breaks down visually. Because this one should appear that it's further away, yet it's rendered on top of this red one. So what's the solution here? We can go to Unity and change its project settings, and we're going to adjust the graphics. We're going to change the camera settings here and change the transparency sort mode to give it a custom axis, and we're going to change this Z setting from 1 to 0, and we're going to apply it to the Y axis. And this is going to allow us to give that, the bias to the Y so that when our characters move up and down, it's going to change the way that they're sorted. We'll give Unity a second to start up, but we should see that this fixes most of our problems here. Let's see. Right now it's in front, we're going to move closer here, and as it moves higher into the, the y-axis, it's going to be rendered behind or sorted behind the other one. And this falls in line with what we normally consider with those two games, that this blue ninja troll is further away visually, and so it should be rendered behind. This is great if the two sprites are the same sizes, and we need to can take that into consideration. Not all our sprites are going to be the same, and so we need to think about a one extra factor, and that's the pivot points of our characters, or our sprites. doesn't matter if it's a character, it should be just the sprite. So I have this turtle 2 and this turtle 1, and they're both assigned to the same sorting layer, which is great. But um, one thing that we want to make note, if we're using this y-axis bias uh, sorting, we want to look at the sprite sort point. Right now, by default, Unity assigns this to center. And you can sort of see this this uh, circular gizmo. That shows where our center is. And if we go to the editor to show our pivot points, it also is set by default our pivot point to be the middle. We want to change this to our pivot point on both, especially if our sprites are more than one size. Right now these is the same characters that have sort of swapped around, but maybe if we had a character that's kind of tall, I can illustrate this here. If I move my blue character closer to this red character, um, they no longer are going to swap or resort themselves in the way that it worked out before. We're rendering in front, but as I get closer, this one is still, it seems like it should be behind our red character, yet it's not, because their center points are different. And this, is, this can be problematic. So one thing that you typically see in beat-em-up style games is that the foot of the character or objects are where we place our pivot points. Not only for our hitbox detection or how we do the maths on, hit, um, on hitboxes, but also where we judge where the character is actually standing. Just like we do in real life, where we're standing is usually at our feet, and so our pivot points should reflect that in this style game. How do we do that really quickly? Um, we go to our sprite sheet, and we can go to our sprite editor, and where we slice it up, we can see that, let's see, I'm going to select, I think it's three, that's our blue character, and if I select it, 
Let's see. Show me my pivot points. Oh, I can't edit it in play mode. Let me jump out of that. Sprite editor. And this is the one that I'm using for the blue character. Move down. You'll see that my pivot point right now is at the middle of my sprite or the center of my sprite. I can change that pivot point to bottom center. And you'll notice that that gives most down there now. And I know for my other character, I think it's this one, number 13. I want to change that from center also to bottom center. I'll hit apply. And this allows me to then put the pivot point of my characters at their feet which is the best way to visually put everything in line of having characters move further away or further back. And I can double check this when I select my character. I want to change this view to pivot and you'll see that that pivot point is down here. And the pivot point for this one, is it set to pivot? Mm. Oh, I must have changed the wrong one. Let's see, this one is sprite. I think it's 13. Let's go back. And he's just kind of walking around. Let's just select a few of these. Make this one center bottom bottom center, Make this one bottom center, it's got to be one of those two. I applied those, let's go back to our sprite, turtle 2, there it is, you can see that the pivot point is now down there, and uh, let's just slightly move him down. And let's do this test, and that should be it. These are two different size sprites, and we're judging their pivot points by their feet, and based on their Y position of their feet, we're going to sort who is in front and who is in back. There you go. Cool. So two things, the main things that we did was change our settings, our project settings, to change the camera setting transparency sort mode to custom access and giving it to the Y axis and making sure that our sprites have our pivot points at our feet. Hope that helps. Have a great day.